spoiler, just one straight across my hand. Hello right, guys, uh, welcome to our Halloween special 2021. Ooh. Nice pumpkin. Our last Halloween special was obviously Cluckley, um, just before lockdown again. It's Halloween 2021 um, and we're doing something a bit different this year, aren't we? Yeah, uh, so far today I have been completely uh, denied all knowledge of the location for tonight. Doesn't matter what I've said or what I've asked, <laughs> I've not been told where we're going. Um, so you leave it as a bit of a surprise, so I get the shock value, I suppose, whenever we, wherever we end up. So. Yeah, well, I thought, to be honest, like I said, usually we always do research together. Um, we'll find a location. Not tonight. <laughs> not tonight. We'll research it and we will go and see what we can find out. This time I've done all the research and I've kept it to myself. Uh, I have not allowed Brian to ask any questions or anything up until this point, but I will say now, is there anything you've noticed on the way or? The only thing I've noticed so far is on the way we passed a sign for Stroud, which I do recognise the sign for Stroud when we went to the ancient ram before, I think anyway, the ram. To be fair, we did come off the motorway at Stroud, um, so that's yeah, well observed. It isn't far from the ram actually, it's obviously not the ancient ram, but it's not far okay. from the ram. Is it an indoor location? It is. It's it's outdoor and indoor, kind of, so to speak. It's it's not. It's not your typical indoor location. It will be, I believe, the oldest location we've ever ventured to. Really? Yeah. Older than the Ram. Old, much older than the Ram. Uh, okay. At least. At least triple the age of the Ram. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can tell you a few of the ghost stories if you want go on then yeah well there's two two main ghost stories there um one is that of a roman soldier okay that stands on top of it that's the best way to describe it stands on top of it and warns people off not to enter okay there's another ghost story of so it's a roman it's pre-roman but it's it's pre-Roman. It's actually Neolithical. Okay. So right. it's extremely old. Um, it's pre-Roman, but Roman remains were found there as well as other remains. There was actually, I think there was 28 bodies on Earth there. Right, Skeletal okay. remains. Right. Dating back to 3000 BC. Is it a cave? It's actually an ancient burial ground. 
Okay. It's an ancient burial ground. Um, that's underground, so to speak. So you're effectively entering a tomb, an ancient burial tomb. Okay. So how do you feel about that? I don't know. <laughs> the um, the second story is there's a cloaked figure inside that also tries to get people to leave. It wars people out to leave. And the other story about the place is a lot of people claim that time moves slowly in there. So people that have gone in there for an hour or so or half an hour have actually come out and 12 hours has passed and just like a time time lapse to the place. I don't time know shift. Whether, time shift. I don't know whether that's a case of a mental shift or whether it's there's actually more to it. I don't know. Well, they fell asleep. Well, they fell asleep. It, it's, it's hard to say. <laughs> okay. Not coming across um, that before. So we will be in a burial chamber. Okay. We will be there tonight. How, how do you feel about that? Also to note that it's actually renowned for this time of year, Halloween. There's a lot of pagan rituals take place there, even to this day. Um, so it's the right time of year as well for the location. Okay. So how are you feeling about that? Makes it a little bit more nerve-wracking, doesn't it, really? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's a bit weird, isn't it? How do you feel? Oh, I know the answer to this, but I'm going to say it to the camera anyway. How do you feel about spiders? I don't like them. <laughs> you know that? Yeah, I, I do know that. Yeah. Um, Why? Well, the research I've done and videos I've seen inside the nah. two, um, a lot of people report there to be a lot of spiders. And I've actually seen on the videos... It does seem to be a bit of a haven for spiders. And to get in, you do have to crawl on your hands and knees. So that might add... Do we have to? It might add <laughs> a little bit of fear for you. Yeah. Um, okay. I've got the other fear, being such a big bloke, I might get stuck halfway in. So <laughs> I might be stuck in there indefinitely. So before more further ado, how about we kickstart a Halloween special? You can still see the matches inside there. And... Uh, Head out there. Yep, sounds good, I think. To Hetty Pelgar's Thump. Is that what it's called? <laughs> okay. Right. That, that's, there's, there's a story behind the name, but yeah. Okay, you have to tell the story a bit later then. It's not bad at carving it, is it? It's pretty good, actually, to be fair. Well, I've got a confession. My daughters did that. <laughs> it's very uh, good. What's the fucking keys? It's very good. What's the car keys? <laughs> Genuinely, Looks like we're going to going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> the anywhere. Fox the car keys. Oh, we ain't going to be going anywhere now. Have you heard them? Sorry. What happened to them? What happened to that here? Have you put them in the back? Because you, you went in the back. Oh, didn't you? Can you? For fuck's sake, so we're going to get we have the keys. The spiders, then. That genuinely scared me. Yeah, I, I got hopeful then. I want to catch a ghost, but I don't want a spider on my bloody shoulder. So we're on location now, on route. Yeah, we're on route to uh, Petty, uh, Petty, Petty Peglass, um, at least I'm not saying. Peggy Mitchell. Peggy Mitchell, <laughs> that's yeah. a start, isn't it? <laughs> Fucking hell. We'll have another 20 takes of that on an outtake. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, on to Petty Peglass. That's take um, two. Fun. So this used to be a burial site then? Yeah, Neolithical burial site. Um, and yeah. it was excavated in the 1800s? Yep, I think there was... I've read somewhere that there was 28 bodies excavated, but I've also read there were 22 bodies excavated, so I don't know the exact number. Okay. But there were bodies of males, women, children, so it wasn't just like a, a soldier's burial or anything like that, it was a burial site. So it's the oldest, investi it's the oldest place investigated. Um, 
3000 BC. So very nice. 5000 years ago. If you're a religious person, 3000 years before Christ. It's a long, long time. time ago. The Romans um, actually partly ex ex excavated it, I believe, and stole um, a lot of the monuments or whatever that were in there. It's interesting to think that the Romans were excavating history, something we think of as ancient history effectively, had their own history. Um, and there is said to be a Roman soldier that stands guard. Uh, On the top, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, to link that in, there's also said to be skeletal remains of a Roman soldier inside uh, when they excavated. So why they buried one Roman soldier in there, I don't know. Whether he... I mean, whether he was buried in there, or perhaps he was sort of cast out, an outcast. Maybe he took shelter in there. and uh, Injured, maybe? Potentially. Maybe he took shelter in there and hid in there, and that's where he died. You don't know. Maybe he was killed in there. But for whatever reason, his spirit is said to remain and stand on top of the thumb and ward people off. There's also said to be a dark figure that stands inside and wards people out. Right. Which I can imagine that'd be quite scary because it's quite a narrow gap to get inside. Yeah, we'll, we'll be able to see in a minute. Just from looking at this now, it yeah. does look pretty... Uh... Well, it's quite a narrow gap to get inside from what I've seen. So, sort of getting halfway in on your hands and knees and then looking up and seeing something inside warding you out. I don't know about you, but that would scare me quite a lot. Yeah. Because you're in a very vulnerable position. I think the thought of not being able to get out quick enough, especially if you've got a crawl. Although it was Neolithical, um, there's obviously some religious meaning behind it. It was designed so during the summer solstice, the sun would actually beam in through the opening. Okay. And light up the back of the uh, tomb. Oh, very clever. Uh, very clever for the time. Yeah, definitely. Okay, that looks pretty tight, I'm not gonna lie. I think we might struggle getting in there. Yeah, I think you should definitely go first. There's more chance of me getting stuck than you. <laughs> All right, okay. So I'll, I'll carry the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Nearly gone over. <laughs> um, yeah, this is gonna be an interesting one for us both because I know, as we've said, you're not too happy with spiders. No. And. I should imagine there's loads in there. I'm not great with confined spaces. And looking at the size of me, and the size of that hole, that's gonna be very confined. You'll be all right. So. Teamwork. If I have to take me, me pants and socks off to get in and out, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just blur it out on the video, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, here we are. So the Roman soldier is meant to stand on top of here, you said, and... I believe he's said to stand on top of here, yeah. I mean, speaking logically, if you look up above the trees now... Yeah, the sun is going all down. All I can see is the sun in my eyes. Yeah. So if I was approaching this, knowing the story of the skeletal remains of a Roman soldier, I do wonder if psychosomatically I could put two and two together and that could create the image of a Roman soldier in my head. Possibly. Vision. Like create an image in your head yeah. and what can be perceived as a Roman soldier. Basically, yeah. So I, I do wonder. I'm not saying that is the case, obviously. Um, it's something to think, think about, though. It's something to think about. Just something I've noticed while I've stood here. Now, what the apparition inside, that's a different kettle of fish. Um, I suppose putting it off, I suppose we'd best go inside and have a look. Yeah, but um, for that. Want to head in first? Um, it's probably easier if I head in first, isn't it, it with this? Probably is. I'll take yeah. that. Keep a look out for spiders. Yeah, I'm gonna put the rig on now, and uh, this is gonna be interesting. A quick daytime look. Be interesting to see how dark it is during the daytime. Yeah. Because... Just give us plenty of room, will you? So if I do need to get out, yeah. I can get out quick. <clears throat> Just smell a bit as well. Oh, God. Hang on, hang on, there's 
spider down there. Are you kidding? He's... You're a prick. Mate, there is a spider right ahead. Go on. No, I can see it. Face your fears. Piss off. <laughs> Look at it! Can you see it? Waiting for you to enter. Can you see it? Hetty Peglos. Can you see it? Burial grounds. It's not dead. It's <laughs> there is a strange smell coming from it. Yeah. What the spider? What the cave? I think it could be you actually. <laughs> 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 the I am built for stuff like this. Me neither. Um... Oh. oh, mate! I can't get in. <laughs> Okay. I mean, I don't really see the need. Ah, there's another one! <laughs> I don't really see the need for a spoke. Right, there's three in here. Oh, you're joking. Nah. Okay, well... Right, let's fall, mate! <laughs> I'll piss you. Yeah. What the <laughs> off. Oh, mate. What can I do? <laughs> you are running out of the burial tomb. Yeah. Because there's a few spiders. <laughs> Lights! There's mate, there's loads. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So. <laughs> there is a lot in that. So, <laughs> I don't know what to say, YouTube. I really don't know what to say. Um, yeah. So oh. We started. There was a few spiders, so Brian's left. <laughs> Do you want to go in next? Well, you didn't really go in, did you? No, because I You're saw sweating. <laughs> You're actually, seriously. Look at Brian's face, he's actually sweating. <laughs> he's perspiring. I suppose I'll best go in and give the tour then. Good luck. Oh, here we go. It's even more difficult to walk in than that. <sighs> okay. It is a tight squeeze. Oh, my arse on the stones, man. Ah, 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 my ass. Oh man, it's gone right up. Ah. Oh, right. I can't see any spiders. Yeah, keep going. But at the moment, I'm in crippling pain, so I'm stoned up. Yeah, Jackson. Yeah. Um, look straight up, right, on your right hand side, straight ahead of you. Oh, yeah. Right up there. I can't believe I'm stood here looking for spiders. Did you see it? No. And there'll be one right above you if you go right there. Well, you, you're really cheering me up here, bro. <laughs> well, hang on, have you got a phobia of spiders as well? You mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't call it a phobia, but I'm not a fan. Get your hands from down my neck, you. Oh, mate. <laughs> nah, did it. This is like something from I'm a celebrity. Yeah. I genuinely don't know if I can get through this sodding hole. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Let's hope we don't have an emergency tonight. Ugh. Now have a look around. Right, I'm in. Have a look for spiders. What do you mean have a look for spiders? Oh, man. Okay, it turns out this is a bit more of a squeeze than I anticipated. Whoa! Right, there's a candle in here. Is it? It's lit as well. Hang on. Let me turn the light off. There's a lit candle in here, guys. Now this is genuinely the first time we've been in here. So, there's another one there, but it's obviously gone out. How many can you see? I can see two at the moment. Candles, not spiders. <laughs> and spiders I haven't looked for spiders and I'm trying not to. Okay. So, this is a lit candle. I do wonder, you know, one of the rumors Oh my god, there's a spider. Huh? God, that's a big one. Man, that is a big one. Um. <laughs> there's Brian over there by the entrance. <laughs> and you can look at Brian, you can actually see how tight the entrance is. So yeah, there's a lit candle in it. I do wonder, one of the stories is that there's... Um, ancient rituals taking place in here so I do wonder if particularly being the time of year if that's been taking place god it's tight in here you can see how close to the roof I am I was just pointing the camera like this at least if there are spiders around I can see it crawling up behind me um, 
I've actually lost my torch, bro, um, on the way in. <laughs> Have you got it? Yeah. Oh, great. Um, so, yeah, there's been some tea lights in here. So there's obviously been something going on in there. It's a bit strange. There. We'll see our man Brian braving it coming through the hole. Um, I heard that, like, Spiders don't like conkers. Maybe we should have brought some conkers with us. Yeah, maybe. Too late for that now, isn't it? Whoa, that is a beast. That is a beast. Yeah, I know. A funny colour as well, isn't they? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've got that. Oh. So, yeah. Um, it is tighter. Tighter than I thought in here, actually. Oh. What are your thoughts to the place, mate? Are you actually going to venture in? I don't like spiders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I made it in. Right. Oh, the back of the roof. Okay, so. Mate, that don't look normal. Look at the fangs on that. No way. <laughs> I don't know, they're exactly the same. No, they don't look normal. Do you not think? Is there such thing as a normal spider? Nope, nope, I want nope. somewhere to park me out. No, 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 no. What? Woo! What? What's the what? one right there, right on the head, and it's huge. Is it? There's webs here. Hang on a sec. Let me get the camera then. Mate. Seriously. There's a lot of the buggers. Fuck me, there's one there and all. Yeah, I know. One, two, three. Look at them three there. Yeah, I know, I can see them. <sighs> Should we get out? There's one right there as well. <laughs> mate, they don't look right, there's mate. one here. Should we get out for five minutes? Yeah. Hey, look, look you're sweating. <laughs> I fing am. I got my face, there you go. Well, let's get out of it. Right, I'll go first. Hang on. Out of the way. Oh, you're up then. Mate. Mate. There's one there. They're all up. Oh, sorry, I'm here. Come out like a dog. I don't care. I'm in knees. So, did you see him? <coughs> oh. <laughs> so, we're currently on a bit of a research for cave spiders. I don't know if anyone noticed, but Brian got scared in there, but I was fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm just glad you backed me up in the end. Mate, I've just scurried out like a dog. My knees are killing me. <laughs> um, just <clears throat> learning about cave spiders. I've got to be honest, I noticed a lot more in there um, after you pointed them out. I, I noticed Which about means... four or five initially, then when I went to the back end where I was going to sit down. Like oh, the very far? In about seven above my head at the very end. The very far side? And each one, I'm not kidding you, is probably that sort of big. Body and legs or just... Bo body and legs is probably that sort of big. But yeah. The bodies are very fat and the legs are... They got, they're just not very nice spiders. The fangs are pretty huge on them as well. Um, <coughs> yeah, they can give a bit of a nasty bite, but they're not. Life threatening, which you wouldn't expect anyway over here. But is this when you versus one or when you versus all of them? <laughs> you just know sooner or later the amount in there, the odds are one is going to drop down in it. Or yeah, I'm tucking myself in tonight, socks included. My jeans are going into my socks. It, this is, I'm not joking when I say this is like an armor celebrity challenge. Yeah, you're literally locking, well, you're going into a cave or a burial mound. <laughs> where, That's it. where you can literally you can't even stand up you can only crouch the, the roof's about this high on me so I'm sort of crouching walking on your knees <clears throat> stony floor and there is literally just tens and tens of these spiders all around you <clears throat> it's like a bloody I'm a celebrity challenge I'm trying to focus on doing an investigation in there later on whose idea is this again? <laughs> Well, initially, when I heard that the place was full of spiders as well, I thought it was hilarious. Because I know you don't like spiders. <laughs> Thanks. But I've got to be honest, I didn't like that. And spiders don't really bother me that much, but they do. They weren't very nice looking. Nah. I mean, 
We could get some conkers. So what are you thinking? I don't like spiders. <laughs> you said that. <laughs> well, no, have that's I made a, it? Have that's I made a it clear? In theme tonight. I know. Um, There's probably going to be plenty of screams later tonight, and I don't think it's going to be because of ghosts. No, I'm not going to lie. That that's made my bladder move. I need to wee after that. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. And I'm scared to unbutton it in case the spider falls out anywhere in my trousers. Or one of us is bound to have one on us somewhere. Yeah, can you not? <laughs> it was, mate, honestly. <laughs> Do you know what the last thing to be that would top it off tonight? What's that? Bloody badger running through it like that. <laughs> Bloody badger, badger running through that hole at us. I would rather there be a badger in that with us than them spiders. <sighs> yeah, but badgers are very dangerous creatures. Right, just for record, if that's a badger, we need to be really careful. I think it was a spot cooking the Badgers come out, didn't it? Badgers are very dangerous. Badgers can bite through steel. How pathetic are we right now? <laughs> on the manly scale, we ain't Pretty. even on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, alright, guys, we're going to head back, get some equipment. Um, I'm still up for this, you still up for it? Even though you're sweating profusely, it's really warm in there as well. Yeah, that's a great it's excuse. It's really humid, <laughs> honestly. Is. So yeah, anyway guys, we're going to get some equipment. Uh, maybe Wait we'll have a bite to eat and then we'll come back. Wait for the sun to go down. Wait for the sun to go down and we'll start the investigation. Catch you later. Here we are um, inside the spider infested cave. Um, I keep calling it a cave, it's not a cave, spider infested burial tomb. Burial tomb. Um, say 20 odd bodies were exhumed here. Um, one of a Roman soldier, which is said to still haunt the place. Uh, Ryan's over here. Yep. First thing we're going to be doing tonight is we're going to be doing a Ouija board. We are so compact for space in here, guys. I'm just going to give you a quick look around. Um, we are so compact for space. When I, um, when I first suggested this place, I didn't realise how tight it was. So, I don't know if you can see down the back of there now. I, don't, I didn't realise how tight it actually was. Now, as you can see by Brian, he can't stand up or anything. That's sitting down, that's the roof. Um, but I think that kind of adds to the atmosphere, doesn't it, mate? Definitely does. Uh, so, you can see the Halloween pumpkin behind us as well. Oh, the Halloween so if pumpkin. If you can get that. Creepy. There you go. Right. Right, so we're going to start the Ouija board session now in the uh, spider infested burial tomb. Um, see if we can get some answers to whoever was exhumed in here, um, who haunts the place, whether we can make contact with the Roman soldier that's said to still reside here, and uh, see who comes through. So we're going to begin that session now. Okay, you ready, mate? Yeah, ready when you are. Yep. Yeah. Right. Uh, do you want to lead this one or do you want me to? Yeah, I'll eat this one if you want, unless you want to, it's up to you. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy if you want to. Okay. okay? Yep. Right. Right. The first thing I want you to do tonight, is anybody here, there's a board on the, on the floor. I want you to spell out a message on that board if you can. If any of the symbols on the board make any sense to you, come and move the object we have our fingers on over the the numbers and letters. Anything you understand, I just want you to move it to begin with. Is there a spirit present here with us now? Perhaps somebody was buried here. Or somebody who loved this place. There is, please move the planchette on the board for me. Show us that you're here. We've come here specifically at this time of year. That's moving. A little bit, I think. We've come here this time of year where the energy is supposed to be strong. Thank you, keep moving it for us. Whatever you can do for us, 
If you know what your name is, move the planchette to a letter. If you don't, make a pattern. Just show us your energy. That's you, Henry. Come forth and communicate with us. Sounds creepy, that does as it's moving across, doesn't it? Spell something out for us. I think so. Are those your initials? Are you just practicing? Showing us your energy. Saying it is my initials. Maybe. Um, okay, so your initials are WV. Were you buried here? It's quite hard to breathe in here. It's like a tight air, isn't it? Did you die here? It's not even stopped my letter. <laughs> Did you live here? Was this a place where you lived and sheltered? I keep thinking I can see something behind you, but it's just the shape of the rock. P. Can you continue? What's the matter? Yeah, it's something that like a click. Hmm, I thought I did. Thank you for the messages. Keep talking to us. Did you live here? I can't see. Uh, that is an R. What are you trying to spell? PRG. I don't think this is making any sense. It's not really going anywhere, is it? Well, if it was Neolithical, could they write or spell? or mm. Roman, potentially, potentially not. Can you make a shape on the board for me? I can hear a lot of noises. Is there anything you want to tell us? Communicate it now.
对。Uh, I think so. Looked like it was going to continue, didn't it? It's not making any sense. Not so far. Please, just tell us one one message, one word. To show us that you can make sense. D E A. Well, I thought I was going to go to dead or death, but it has stopped. We kind of stopped again I in the middle of letters. Wonder if it's able to spell or anything. Mm. Maybe that's it what it was trying to spell and it didn't have the energy, I don't know, but not a lot to make sense to me yet. Let's get the K2. Right, now, ask a few questions. Mm. If there's any energy, hopefully, K2 or EMF, K2 will pick it up. You see that, okay? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to ask a few questions myself. I'd like to know first, are we welcome in here? Do you mind us being in this this room, this area? Or are we not welcome? If we're not welcome, can you please move towards the green light which is on the board on the floor? Can you try and alter that green light just by touching it? If you touch that green light for us, then it should go up and change colour. We want to see a different colour. Can you do that for us? Pretty flat. Pretty much. We brought Henry with us tonight. Um, it's been a while since he's had a bit of an outing. To be honest, he can't see with his hat like that. There we go. It's been a while since he's had a bit of an outing. Uh, we're usually very skeptical of apps, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Um, I've seen it used a few times. Um, I was actually out with a few groups of people in Dale's graveyard, as a lot of people know. You know, some uh, being used then, but we're going to try uh, Necrophonic, aren't we? So the Necrophonic app is an app I've heard a lot about. It's not something, as Nathan's saying, we we, we normally look into that much. Uh, however, this app seems to get a bit of a reputation. So, uh, despite our own thoughts on apps, we're going to give it a try tonight in here. Um, first time using it, and just see if we get anything. Um, really, if we see if we get anything relevant, you never know, it might tie up with certain things. And... Yeah, exactly. Um, so let's let's try it, give it a go. Do you place it on the board? Yeah. Is there anyone in this room? Is there anyone here with us? Please tell us your name. I have to say, I don't speak Roman, but it does sound kind of Latin. We're looking for a Roman soldier. Were you a Roman soldier? So move the K2 by Henry. So there's no interference or less interference.
Whoa. Yeah. yeah, I'm just freaking out. Spiders. If you, if you were the Roman soldier that's been seen here, can you please say the word Roman? Roman. Men. Men, Roman. Oh, so that did sound like Roman. That did sound like Roman. I'm going to ask you again. I've got a little light on this. I'm going to ask you again, if you were the Roman soldier, please say the word Roman. How about the uh, black figure that's seen in here? Are you in here? Trapped. I heard the word trapped. Are you trapped in here? Gaelic. Henry, if you're in here with us, the spirit, please come forth and let yourself known. How are you feeling, mate? I'm all right. Yeah, you? Yeah, yeah not too bad. I've I've forgotten about the spiders because we're doing what we normally do. But I'm looking for a scare. I'm looking for a Roman soldier or a black figure to get rid of us. Black. It almost seems like it's copying what we're saying. Now I don't know if that's like how the app works. Maybe. Or if. Oh, that wasn't very nice. That wasn't sound. very nice at all. That sounded like a little girl. There was, there was a little girl. Um, I'm covered here. Yeah. All right, please give us your names. If you if you're haunting this location, please tell me your name. Eddie. We spoke to a man on our way down here today. And he warned us that lots of rituals take place here. If there's anything, any energy left over from these rituals, come forth and show us. Show us what power you have. What are you making to this app then, bro? Um, I'm, not so, I'm not so sure about this app at the minute, to be honest with you. It's quite hard in real time. Yeah, we've I'm hoping some... when we watch this back, we'll be able to pick some words out and Possibly. try and find some relevance. Can you start, shine the rig over here for a minute? The light? Yeah, if you don't mind. Okay. What's up? Help him. Help him. I heard help him then, bro. Help who? Help who? Who are you trying to help? The boy. What boy are you trying to help? What happened to the boy? Black death. So you heard. Black death. Were there plague victims in here? Yeah. 
were plague victims buried here. What was the reason of your death? Yes. Plague victims. Oh, I had that. This would be the perfect place for a plague pit as well. What, thrown in here and then buried out of way? Yeah. Well, it's already a burial chamber. Yeah. So throw more bodies in there. It's out the way. Can you confirm that if that is true? Was this used as a burial chamber for the plague? Well, I'm really, really eager to try out what you said yeah. with the EVP device. Well, guys, what we're going to do now, um, it's an experiment Brian came up with. A good idea, actually. Um, I want to, we want to leave a walkie-talkie in here. Um, leave an EVP device on the Ouija board. Leave the area and ask questions through the walkie-talkie. And then review the evidence we get on the digital voice recorder and uh, see if the voices but our presence not being here brings maybe makes spirits more um what's the word more open to coming forward and then i think if we do a spirit box in the doorway yeah i don't know about you but i am crippled up in here because of the such a, small the height, location. such a small location and the stones aren't exactly helping on you no. <laughs> It's actually weird because I've got used to the spiders now. It's like yeah, I'm quite comfortable in here. I'm just it's just the the height. I mean, I said that as I feel like I'm feeling things on me, but um, it's probably because I haven't had them dropped on me yet. So I feel alright. Well, should we set up and head out? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Sorry guys, we're gonna try this experiment. Um, Brian come up with. I think you actually saw it on Paranormal Captured. Paranormal Captured, yeah. Um, it's quite a cool, quite a cool idea. I like the sound of it. Um, so we're gonna give it a go. Ask a few questions. See if we get anything coming from inside the burial chamber. Um, so the first question I'm gonna ask is. If you can hear my voice, come and talk back to me. Is that definitely going off in there? Yeah. Can you hear it? Mm -hmm. I can't. Fair enough. I want to know much. Uh, start again. I want to know as much about you as possible. I want to know your name, your age, and why you were buried here. If you can't tell us that, tell us why you warned people off this place. Why would you not want people here? Thought I heard something over there then. I can hear things from inside. Yeah. Hopefully that's a response. to be a black figure that appears here. Why do you appear? And why do you not want people here? Do you hear it then? Hmm. Do you have any messages for us? Well, he wants us to leave. You need to tell us now. Quite a different little experiment, I like this. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to make any difference, but it's not being there. Well, the thing is, we can't be, um, we're not going to be blamed or for causing any background noise as such. Whatever, yeah. you know, the natural surroundings will be the background noise. Beautiful night sky, isn't it? Completely crystal clear. It is. Beautiful. Starry night, you can actually see a few of them, not many. Yeah, it's but... quite eerie though. 
Hear my voice, come to it. Come and move the object where my voice is coming through. Fucking hell, imagine if we got a response back through the fucking... <laughs> Yeah, see, what would you do if that was the case? I don't know, that'd be, that'd be really fucking difficult to deal with, that would. Good though, really be fucking good evidence, but it'd be You'd difficult to... We'd have to run in there and see what did it. Well, it's not the easiest place to run into, let's be honest. <laughs> well, you know. I keep thinking I see like I keep thinking I see like shadows and stuff behind you coming on the camera. It's a really strange night, like the light, the stars and everything is casting just a really weird It's strange, it's such a clear night, yeah, it's so dark. Yeah. But I can't explain it. Should we go for a bit of a walk around the hill? Yeah, sure. This is your last chance to come and communicate with us. Come forth. It's really difficult to, it's a good experiment, but it's difficult because not hearing any response or anything. You've got nothing to work with. You've got it, nothing it. to work with, it's quite strange. You feel like you, oh, okay, I saw something there as well. Where? Wow, literally just there, it was like a flash of light again. Not to be honest, but it's not around. It's literally just bang, come and gone. Not that quick? Yeah. Strange night. There is a strange atmosphere here, to be honest. Mm. A very strange atmosphere. The time of the year doesn't help either. No, it's... Uh... Everything's always creepier at Halloween. I don't <laughs> care who you are. We're going to try a spirit box session now. We need your voice to communicate through the spirit box. I want you to talk to Brian. If you won't communicate with me, I want you to talk to Brian. This will be your last chance. Tell us your story. Tell us who you were and why you're here. If we do the spirit box over there, just on top of that mound, yeah. there's actually another burial chamber there that hasn't been unearthed. Oh, so yeah. I believe the bones and skeletal remains are still there. Okay. But it's just been blocked up. Uh, yeah. I have respect to presume. So perhaps sitting on top of there or standing on top of there using the spirit box maybe that's a good idea okay yeah we'll um, try that it's going to be really interesting reviewing this footage back see if we get anything through the evp device mm. or the cameras while we're out here definitely right so let's try that let's okay. try the spirit box right guys so we're going to finish the investigation we've, we've actually come to the top of the mine now um this is the area where a roman soldier has been seen to basically ward off anyone who uh comes in We've got the equipment out of the burial chamber now, as we're going to be leaving shortly. Um, so just before we do, we thought we'd try this out. Right, we're searching for the spirit of a Roman soldier. If your spirit still remains here, can you please say the word Roman again? I heard you say the word Roman in the burial chamber earlier. I thought I heard Roman again. Yeah, kind of... Not so clear, but yeah. From all the stories that come from here, I get the impression that we're not welcome. It's cold. It's cold. Do you hear that? Yeah, I agree with that. It is, really it cold. is cold, yeah. Is it cold because of where you were buried? God, you that, what? There's moaning coming from down there. What do you mean moaning? It's going to sound silly. It could actually be like cattle. But it sounded like... Hill? That. Yeah, what was that? But it sounded like... Hill? That. Yeah, what was that? It sounded like... 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah what was that? What, what's that? It sounded like... It did sound like cattle. I didn't notice any cattle when we came earlier in the day. But it could be. Sounded like. Ooh. Do you think it's related? I don't know. It could. It could have been like. Um, I don't know. It could have been like a groan or a chant or. Mm. I don't know. Just sounded a bit peculiar. That's all. I mean, to hear it over the top of the spirit box, it must have been relatively loud. It's quite loud. I thought I heard something in the background, so you confirmed it. It wasn't loud enough for me to notice it. Okay, so as I was saying, I get the impression that this is sacred ground. Perhaps we're not welcome here. There's a spirit of a Roman soldier that wards people away from here. Will you please show yourself to us? If you don't want us here, let us know. Talk to us through this device. Better yet, make us leave. If you're really here, come and show yourself to us now. Come show yourself to us. Why don't you ward us off right now? Show us your presence, we're waiting for you. Are you scared of us? Are we meant to be scared of you? Right, so we're waiting for a spirit of a Roman soldier and a big black shadow. And so far there's been nothing. So either you're scared of us or you don't exist. This is your last chance now before we leave. Do something to scare us. Keep going. Whoa, what the? What? What? No? What? Footsteps. Yeah, there's footsteps behind me. That's what I was looking for when you shouted, whoa. Yeah, down there. Down where? Down that, there. Yeah, that's where I heard it. That's where I was planning to. Yeah. But I thought it was you. Okay. But... Interesting. That's exactly what I was planning to. I turned around and you went, whoa, down here. I scared the shite out of me. Right, you're not talking to a spirit box, so I'm turning it off. But was that you that made that noise? Come push me down the hill. Be brave enough. Come do something to me. Make me never want to return. to see you and you haven't showed your face to us why haven't you shooed us away like you shooed everyone else all right so we've been doing the spirit box now for a while we haven't seemed to have caught anything we don't think apart from maybe a weird noise at the bottom of the mound that could have been anything um, it did sound like footsteps did but... sound like footsteps uh, it caught us both I think uh, but apart from that I don't really think, I don't know how conclusive this investigation has actually been. There's a strange atmosphere, definitely. Yeah. Definitely a strange vibe. Um, to be honest, I would actually say more so outside here than inside the burial chamber. I would agree with I that. Actually, although I was scared initially, I actually felt quite comfortable in there in the end, almost at, at home, dare I say. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't go that far, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, it felt quite comfortable. Yeah, it um, was more comforting being sat in there, probably because you felt safer, because out, you were surrounded. Out here, yeah, perhaps you feel a bit vulnerable because you're in the middle of nowhere and it's pitch black dark all around. And yeah. Whereas before, there's only one entry and one exit, isn't there? So. Yeah, exactly. Well, right, guys, um, we're going to wrap the investigation up now. We've done a bit of spirit box. We've been here for probably four or five hours now. We haven't, we haven't found it too bad. Inside is quite creepy initially but we we got quite at home with it in the end dare I say uh, out here seems a little bit seems a little bit more edgy but I think it's because it's pitch black we don't know what's around we can't see obviously makes you feel a bit more vulnerable 
Um, but we're gonna have to go through the evidence. I'll well, go through the footage. Hopefully, we've caught some evidence. Um, see what we can bring you guys. I thoroughly hope you've all had a fantastic Halloween. Um, we hope you guys all enjoyed our night out in Cannock Chase last night. Uh, the video for that will be coming very, very soon. Hopefully, before the end of the week, um, for the end of next week. Uh, so until next time, keep seeking the truth. Happy Halloween 2021.